Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Yo Yo Man with Barnsley. In today's episode, we've got Redden and QPR in the championship. We are currently sitting in fifth position. Redden is sitting in fourth and QPR are sitting in sixth. So to say it's a crucial couple of games if we are to challenge for the playoffs, that will be a little bit of an understatement. A few fixtures to review though since the last time we met the first of which was an away draw against Blackburn. Rian Brewster did put us in front 44 minutes in but Danny Graham in the 80th minute dashed our hopes of three points and we come away with a good away draw though. We then went away from home against Middlesbrough and I was almost raging. <laughs> Malik Wilkes put us in front two minutes in we held on all the way to the 92nd minute when George Fred equalised but then Bruno Costa in the 93rd put us back in front and we got in a weird win against Middlesbrough. An absolutely massive, massive result. We then had a home tie against Hull, which was actually a little bit of a disappointing result. We did win 1-0. Uh, Malik Wilkes again getting the goal in the fourth minute. They went down to 10 minutes, though, in the seventh minute, and we weren't able to capitalise. That was pretty much it for the rest of the game. We didn't really create too many good opportunities, and all the match stats look pretty much in our favour. But in terms of highlights and um, key opportunities and stuff, we didn't even create that many. And then finally, in the last game before today's games was Cardiff away from home. They took the lead very early on in the fifth minute. And we got a fortunate equaliser in the 78th minute through Dimitri Cavaria. Um, the, Cardiff fully deserved the win, just looking at the stats. Um, but we got away with the point, so we can't complain with that. So, as I mentioned earlier, we currently sit in fifth position. Three points clear from Wigan in seventh. So, we've got a little bit of a buffer in the playoffs, but... We face both Redden and QPR today. Both games are at home. So if we were to be able to win both of these ties, we've certainly, certainly put ourselves in a very strong position going into the second half of the season for playoff contention. So the first game today is going to be against Redden. And this is how we line up. Radlinger in goal. Cavaria, Diaby, Halmier and Pinellos will start in the defence. Ben Williams has been struggling a little bit with his, um, with his fitness. My assistant did recommend that I rest him, so he has been missing the past couple of games. Uh, Moat and McGeehan have well and truly solidified themselves as my two starters in the centre of midfield. Wilkes, Bruno Costa, Jordan I will play behind Corley Woodrow up top. Now, there is a debate as to whether Corley Woodrow should be starting over Rian Brewster. Probably shouldn't based on form, but Corley Woodrow is worth £8 million. He's 25 years old, and if a Swansea City or a Stoke City... Or even maybe one of the lower Premier League clubs take a sniff at Corley. We could end up getting some good money for him and being able to reinvest that into the squad. So Corley gets the start today. So Redden come at us with our Sheffield United tactic. Uh, Raphael and Goal, Mua, Miazic. I mean, I'm not really that bothered about who they're playing. Uh, John Swift, I recognised. Uh, does he play for Coventry? Am I just... Oh, it was Chelsea. Aye. Same thing. Um, Ajaria, he played for Sunderland at one point or another. He wasn't very good. But anyway, they are obviously one of our main rivals. They are sitting fourth position. So they've obviously got the squad capable to compete with ours. And our squad's not even that good. We're just really, really overperforming right now. So we can't rest on our laurels. We'll kick off and hope for a good performance from the boys. Highlight now, Bruno Costa with a free kick just outside the box. He plays it into the back post and Malik Wilkes is there. To get his ninth goal of the season. Bruno Costa with a fantastic free kick here. We'll see it again in the replay. He plays this back post. Wilkes is marked but he gets above his man. And he puts us 1-0 up inside 2 minutes. Another highlight now. 12 minutes in. We're on the attack again with Bruno Costa down the right hand side. Cavaria tries to find uh, Wilkes down the line. But he, that was an awful clearance. But Redden get away with it just about. But we retain possession. Mowat. Finds uh, Pinellos on his left hand side. Wilkes is there back post. And I tell you what. This boy is doing some special things for us on that right hand side. He's only 20 years old. He's still got plenty of potential to grow. He's English as well. He's worth about 3.5 to 4 million pounds. I wouldn't be surprised if we end up getting some Premier League interest for him. But he has been absolutely clinical for us. And despite these poor runs of form that we've seen. He's always producing the goods. And he's by far our top scorer. I actually just wanted to quickly show you him. Because he is advancing really really well uh he can play all across the attacking three his attributes are flying up and he's just a fantastic player he's been one of our most consistent players in terms of goal scoring at the very least another highlight now moat with the corner it's played in corley woodrow's back post he gets his sixth goal of the season and we are making this look a little bit too easy redden one of our major challenges 
are absolutely sinking without a trace as we'll see it again the corners played in he's completely unmarked at the back post they've got no men on the posts either only on the front and 3-0 and we're not even at half time and that's it for the first half Barnsley 3 red and nil this is not a result I was expecting I you know I was expecting us to be able to compete with Redden but not at this sort of level I thought maybe it will be quite even going into the first uh, into the second half and we might be able to pinch a winner but it'll be three nil up was absolutely fantastic another highlight now it's Redden this time coming forward in the second half it's first highlight in 67 minutes and um, we'll see how this goes Ajaria to Zhao that was some great play by Redden but we've managed to nip in and uh, cut out the pass and Radlinger don't mess about with it mate <laughs> don't be that guy you don't want to be a Butland Wilkes plays in Cavaria down this right hand side the ball's played in Woodrow's there and he heads just over with 15 minutes to go we will look to make some changes Jordan Williams come come on for Cavario struggling out there Jordan Ibe hasn't had his best game ever either so we'll get Bicho on for him and we'll put Bruno Costa out on that left hand side and Bicho in in the attack and midfield centre role and that would see us good for the final 15 minutes another highlight Bruno Costa nips in and pinches a pass poor pass by uh, the Redden defender but they do manage to get back and win the ball the ball stumbles its way to Woodrow somehow and we can form an attack down this left hand side Jordan Ibe hasn't come off the pitch yet and he puts the ball in Wilkes should have got his hat trick there at the back post completely free header and that would have been a great way for his game to end but never mind he's still on the pitch he could still get his hat trick McGeehan now he's got plenty of space on his left hand side Bruno Costa turn round somebody he's there come on he plays it to the right hand side instead and it's cut out stupid pass the ball's knocked up over and now our defence has completely fell asleep they've hit the post but he's got it in a second attempt and that was all down to our very very poor and lacklustre defending we'll see it again here on the replay Mayazga or Mizaga or whatever his name is plays over the top who is that who is what's his name again Halmir absolutely dreadful defender my friend what was up with that Barnsley 3 red and 1 10 minutes to go let's not let's not mess this up now Costa has picked up a knock we're going to have to get him off we'll bring on Rayan Brewster in his spot and switch Rayan Brewster with Malik Wilkes as uh, Brewster doesn't like the left hand side but he doesn't mind the right probably the final highlight of the game only injury time remaining four minutes of it and Williams plays in the ball Wilkes is there back post he's had so many attempts to get his hat trick he's not going to get it is he time is ticking away and there it is for full time Barnsley 3 red and one an absolutely electric first half sees us comfortably get the three points disappointing second half but you can't have everything and with that win we rise above Redden and currently sit in fourth position QPR drew in their tie against Birmingham and we will be playing them today they are now outside of the playoff spot so a win today against QPR would see us open that gap even further so we're at the QBR game the only change we are making to the starting 11 is Bicho comes in in the attack and midfielder role unfortunately Bruno Costa is injured for the next three days he's been absolutely fantastic for us uh, three goals and three assists in 19 pre uh, championship games doesn't sound great but an average rate of 7.21 is one of the highest of the squad and for 475k worth 5 million now he's been an absolute diamond but Bicho can come in one of our signings again in attack and midfield he's more than capable of playing that role and hopefully we will see the best out of him today so let's submit this team and let's get to kick off and QPR match us for formation whether they're not quite as attacking as we are but it should lead to an interesting match nevertheless no real player who I'm, I feel like highlighting right now so let's get to kick off and see how we get on hopefully a repeat of the Redden performance first highlight comes two minutes into the game and it's Wilkes who pitches the ball on the halfway line he's going to drive at goal he's going to go for it himself pretty pretty much shouldn't have done that maybe cut it back for Corley Woodroy in a better position but you know another highlight now Jordan Ibe on the left hand side finds McGeehan who switches the play to Cavaria and he very nearly got an absolutely superb goal another highlight now 25 minutes in we're on the attack down the right hand side Cavaria picks up the ball back to Wilkes all the way back to Mowat and we're forming a nice little triangle there but the ball played in is not the best and QBR can clear and maybe counter with Kian they play the ball about nicely to Mark Pugh on this left hand side and um, they've got overlapping fullbacks as well which is causing us some issues Williams oh, Williams come on somebody oh. <laughs> bright Asai Samuel gets the goal for QBR to put them 1-0 up his fifth goal of the season we had so many opportunities here Williams just really his defense his poor defensive stats 
really, really being highlighted there. The keeper dove for the initial strike, which was blocked by the defender. So that sort of screwed him up for the rebound. And QPR, 25 minutes in, go 1-0 up. I will be gutted if after that fantastic Redden performance, we follow that up with a defeat at home against QPR. It's not over yet, 34 minutes in. And Bicho pinches the ball in the midfield and we can counter with PS. He's going down the right-hand side. He's going to go for goal himself. I knew it straight away. He stuck with his left foot as well. It wasn't a left-footed strike. Highlight comes from a QPR corner, but Wilkes clears. Corley Woodrow brings it down brilliantly. He's got three men to beat. He gets past one. Ah, Lumley with a good save. QPR are defending quite well. Um, and we're not really taking advantage of our opportunities that we are getting more at with the ball in. Halmeyer gets a header on it, but it goes over the bar. Probably the final highlight of the first half. It's going to go QPR's way as Pew goes for goal. Radlinger is equal to the challenge though. And that's going to be it for the first half. We're not really keeping possession very well. Uh, QPR are peeling us back open as well. Especially down the wings. So it's going to have to be something we change for the second half. I'm going to... Um, what am I going to do? I'm going to lower the tempo. I'm going to lower our short, uh, the distance of our passing. And hope that means we can retain possession a little bit more and reduce QBR's time on the ball, which will be ideal. Doesn't seem to be working right now, though. 50 minutes in, it's QBR in possession. Tries to switch the play at the right-hand side. Jordan I picks up the ball, and maybe now we can counter Wilkes. He's got the overlap of Kavaria, and he finds him. He beats his man. He's got his, a lot of men back for QBR. They're defending in numbers. And the player are out from the back well, and they get it to Regatton up top. Wells is in behind. He goes for goal. Good save by the keeper. Williams manages to clear, and that is that. We're not performing very well right now. With only 20 minutes to go, we're going to have to make a change and try and do something there. Corley Woodrow is going to come off for Rian Brewster. Jordan Ibe is having a poor game, which is disappointing, but we're going to have to keep him on. He is a difference maker, potentially. Um, his early season form hasn't really carried on the same way that I thought it might have, but right now, this is not going well. Absolutely nothing happening here. We've went very attacking. We've changed our team instructions. We're not making any further substitutes. This is going to be that. And disappointing. Really disappointing. Barnsley nil. QPR won. We could have really made a statement with these two results. Um, unfortunately, we've made it in the first game. Just not the second game. QPR were too much for us there. And we will drop down now off a of fourth position, I would imagine. We don't. We're still fourth. That's not too bad. <laughs> so at the end of the episode, we do finish in fourth position. Only two points clear of the playoffs now. But um, 39 points is nothing to sneeze at, you know. 11 more points should see us stay in the league pretty comfortably. But uh, I've sort of got my eyes on the playoffs now. <laughs> Looking forward to the next episode then. Are we going to do a January transfer special? I think we're going to. So if you're unfamiliar with how that works, I'll just play through all the games. You won't see any of them live comed. We will just recap every single time we play a game. And then we'll do any business we can in between and keep you up to date with exactly what is going on. I've got three games to go before that, so you'll get them at the beginning of the next episode. But yeah, we're still, we're doing very well. And if you go out to our club vision, we're already on an A-plus manager performance. We are only expected to avoid relegation, so um, being in the playoffs is an absolute dream. And I need to keep myself grounded and remind myself this season should very much be a season where we consolidate and start to build a foundation but you can't help but get carried away when your team's performing well anyway if you have enjoyed today's video please consider leaving a like and if you are enjoying my content get yourself subscribed but until next time take it easy